Guys, I've got a Star Talk Sports Edition explainer. This one about golf, lip outs in golf. Uh, Gary, I think we're going to have to muzzle Chuck for this. I don't okay. know. He's, he's he's highly golf opinionated, and mm. I don't know. I just no, te- I'm no just, telling what he's going to say. All no, I no, do da, is da, speak da, the da, truth. Da, That's da, it. He's. Da, I, da, I don't da. get the feeling Chuck's clubhouse friendly. It's true. Okay. true. <laughs> oh, wait, why? Are we playing at Augusta now? What is going oh, on? Oh, what is going on? <laughs> oh. All right, let's get back to lip outs, people. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I see golf. I'm not a golf player. You know, I just always imagine the conversation between a golfer and a baseball player, right? Mm. And <laughs> just how that would go by. So the baseball player says, uh, so, uh, you want complete silence when you hit the ball? I say, yeah, we need, we need silence. And they say, well, how fast is the ball moving? <laughs> yeah. well, not at all. <laughs> it's stationary. Well, where is it? Oh, it's right between my feet. <laughs> <It's> like, <Yeah. laughs> and so, and so you need silence? Yeah, that takes concentration. Well, how about you? Oh, well, our ball is moving 90 miles an hour, mm-hmm. thrown by someone who doesn't want me to hit it. And so, so while I'm like, being booed. While, while 50,000 people are screaming at you. Mm-hmm. But what we all know is that certain golf, typically a putt, but any yeah. it can happen on any, on any um, shot, the ball will hit the rim of the cup and then spiral around and pop out. Mm. Frustrating for the golfer because that's a lost uh, shot right there. It's a stroke off. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a stroke off. And that right, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. That's a loss of a loss of a stroke. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. We'll go with and drop. S- drop shot. Shall we? Yes. Drop shot. Fine. Yeah, yeah. So it's. Uh, so what's interesting about it is it can happen almost no matter how far away you are from the cup. Uh, I've, it's, there's some. There are good videos of compilations of lip outs where some guy was like a couple of feet away and he taps it in, but it lips out. And then it, everyone says, oh, and then he just goes around a little cocky, said, you're going in this time, bop, lips out again. And so he lost two strokes when the ball was was within two feet of the cup. Yeah, I think and they so- call that you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure that's the golfing term. That's the, that's the official the official golfing term. See, I mean, if anyone's watched Caddyshack the movie, they know it's a gopher in the hole that's pushing the ball. <laughs> the gopher. I forgot the gopher about the, in the gopher. Hole. Yeah. The gopher is at fault for all mm-hmm. of it. Yes. So, so here's what's going on. You you think you're hitting the ball straight, and you are, and so the ball has has what we call linear momentum. So it's momentum in the direction it's headed. Yeah. However, if you do not hit the ball exactly towards the center of the cup, mm-hmm. and it sees the rim of the cup, mm-hmm. it's like you reaching out to like a maypole as you're trying to run by it, grabbing it, and what happens to you? Ooh, you get to swing around. You Woo! swing around. So all of a sudden, your linear momentum, okay, Right. So, uh, what you think is purely linear momentum also manifests as angular momentum around the pole. Mm-hmm. Okay? So that happens. You reach out and grab. So when the ball sees the depression in the cup, that's effectively falling towards the middle of the cup. And it, there, so there's angular momentum there that is getting picked up as it goes around the center. And depending on how fast the ball is moving and how much on the lip it was, it'll either swivel and go in or swivel and pop out again. And so the only way to avoid this on every single shot is hit it directly to the center of the cup. <laughs> That's all. It, to the center of the cup and it drops in. Does Problem it matter solved. on how much, is there a crit- critical mass of the ball that must be below the lip of the cup? Oh, very good point. So, so I'd have to do a calculation on this, right. but I would say if you got half the mass of the ball below the lip, Mm-hmm. That it's going in. Yeah. Uh, that's, and because it's very, it's, it's very hard to, to all of a sudden have a force vector pointing upwards while this is happening. By the way, unless the ball is spinning, yeah. okay, depending on which way the ball is spinning, right. if it's spinning, it can actually crawl out 
if that's the direction the spin is going. That happens in basketball where you see the ball ring around. Well, that's, uh, it, so in basketball, lip outs are every third shot, right? Yeah. I mean, when you think about it. Yeah, it rings around and then it comes, it gets thrown out. It's it gets, actually in the hole. You know, it's in the cylinder. Well, well, I haven't seen it. Find me one where it's half already in the oh, cylinder. I don't oh, think. God, I, yeah. Oh, I don't think. It, oh, uh, come ah, on now. Yes. Ah, I don't think more than half, but definitely it's in the cylinder. Yeah. Up I've, to half. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can tell. Up totally to half. In yeah. there, but it's touching it. the side. And depending on the spin, the, the, the internal angular momentum the ball had by your mm. shot, right. that'll affect what it's going to do as it kisses the rim. Yes. All right. And so some shooters will give a backspin right. when they hit the back of the rim. So then it, the spin takes it in with that much more vigor. But if you if you have different spins and you hit the rim in the wrong way, it's going to spin in a way you don't want, you're not going to make the shot. So the same is true in golf. And in golf, you know, the spin on the ball matters, right? For so many of those shots, particularly ones that are onto the green, you don't want it to keep moving and rolling off the green. So so many of them have backspin. To take bunker shots, Neil, if you, if you found yourself in a sand trap, You've got to get right underneath the ball, flatten the face of the club, and then you impart the backspin on it so as it doesn't overrun on a, on a fast screen and then will spin and drop and then that will be the... Uh, the exactly. The and, and, and golfers are excellent navigators of yeah. subtleties in terrain mm -hmm. so that if you're going to do a backspin, you're going to do it on a... On the high uh, side. On the high side, so then it rolls back down. So you're going to think this through... All, well, you'll do it even if it goes low. Right, mm -hmm. you especially yeah. need it if it goes low, because you don't want it to then roll off and go into the into the pond or or into the brush. So uh, all I'm saying is that the only way to avoid it is to send it straight in. So remind me again why why when it it looks like it's going to go in, it rises up. How, what is elevating that for it to lip out and not lip down? Okay, so yeah, so what you're saying is it's already partly in the cup. Right. So what's it doing? Mm -hmm. So it has so much momentum, right? The question is, how is that momentum going to manifest? Okay. And so as it comes, so let's say you're going to lip left to right and out. It goes in. So what's actually happening is it's almost like the bank of the track in NASCAR. Oh. Okay. Think about that. If you come to, the, in fact, why don't we talk about Banks and NASCAR in the next segment. This is a nice uh, uh, um, lead into yeah. that. So, so here I am in a car, and if I'm driving too fast on that bank, okay, I can tell you now, if you drive 300 miles an hour into a bank, I don't think the rubber in the road is going to hold you to the bank. And it looks like, yo, you should just fall into the middle. You're just going to fall in. No, you're going to fly right out, head in the other direction on the other side of the track. Okay, so, so we're imparting that theory into a golf ball as to why it raises or rises out of. C correct, correct. Because when you're in a car and you're on a bank, you feel this force sort of pushing you outward, right? Depending on how fast you hit that bank, mm -hmm. and that that it's that fact that's what helps keep you on the track, provided you don't take the turn too fast. Mm. So, <clears throat> so all we're saying here, here is that on that turn, if you have enough momentum then that momentum will continue to carry. And the fact that the ball was a little bit in won't matter because it's, it's roll. It's, it's, it's seeing the, because it, by the way, it's not in the cup when that happens. It's on the part of the grass that, that bends in. Yes. It's on the lip. Yeah. It's on a lip. And on that lip, it's not a perfect 90 degrees, no. right? It's like, it's a it's small, a, tiny little bank, tiny little bank. It's a tiny little bank between the grass and the turf and where the cup begins. And that's the bank where this thing flies out on. Now, so of if, course, uh, if uh, only uh, we could get that ball to do what the car on the bank does, which is fly out and then explode in a fiery ball of death, I would watch golf. <laughs> I would watch golf. That would be amazing. Finally. We'll talk to the authorities on that one. Right. Oh, dear. I can't see this taking off on the Golf Channel, can you? <laughs> oh, I certainly can. <laughs> Exploding golf? Oh, my God, I'm watching that. Well, we've all seen uh, uh, um, clips of uh, practical jokes where the ball is something that explodes on it. Not explodes dangerously, but just 
pulverizes right. on impact. We've seen that, right? Mm -hmm. you, you make a golf ball out of chalk or something, and but you yeah. don't. The person doesn't know it. You're the one who puts the ball on uh, on the ground, waiting for them, and then they hit it, and then it's just a puff of smoke. That right that. there is eminently more entertaining. Than actual <laughs> golf. Do you, do you get the That's all I'm going to say. That's okay. all I'm going to say. That okay. is more Fine. entertaining than actual golf. <laughs> Could we get whisper commentary, though? Oh, oh, oh that'd be yeah. so awesome. Just um, like, uh, he's addressing the ball right now. Uh, <laughs> it's a beautiful day here at Augusta. Uh, winds are out of the south, southwest. Uh, I see the ball is on the tee. As he approaches the ball, uh, here's the backswing. And oh my god, it exploded! <laughs> what the hell just happened? <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm sure Chuck's agent is the phone is ringing off the hook to get yep. Chuck to comment. Come on, on that, is, that is awesome! Exploding <laughs> golf. So, <laughs> if, if any of our audience are listening or watching this and they play golf and they lip out in the future, it's not because you suck. It's just because of science. <laughs> science. Right. And, and by the way, of course, I mean, the ball can, can like bounce in and bounce off the bottom of the cup and bounce oh. out. That's not lipping yeah, out. Yeah, but, that's, but that's, that's, well, now, now you just, I got to know now, uh, maybe you know or not, let's say the ball does pop in, like it's bouncing, 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 mm. bounces in the cup. And back out, yeah. Bounces back out. Is that still considered, it touched the bottom of the cup? Yeah. Does, is that a shot made, or do you have to then complete put it back in the cup? Have you sunk? Have you sunk that? Is that technically a sink, or whatever you call it? That's yeah, pain. whatever. Yeah, because the cup is metal, isn't it? So there's every chance. Yeah. Of, well, it's it, ten. It, yeah, ten cup. Ten cup, metal. as they say. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So if if it falls vertically, then there's a chance it, it could pop back out. Pop, That's what yeah. I'm saying. It could pop back out if yeah. it's a high enough arc on the bounce. Mm -hmm. And it ends up Correct. falling directly into the cup, hitting the bottom, and then popping back out. Right. Is that now a shot it, made? It just needs enough energy to bounce several, even bounce a couple of times we to need, then pop back out. We need officials. Out. We need golf officials. For I, I'm suspecting the ball has to still be in the bottom of the cup when you reach yeah. in there. Oh, see, that That's is cold-blooded, man. Yeah. yeah. No, just become a better golfer. <laughs> That's all, Chuck. I, I, I put it in the cup. How much better can I be? I mean, God. You know, that's kind of like if the ball has enough arc where it falls through the basketball hoop, mm -hmm. which is highly unlikely, but then somehow bounces back up through the basketball, you still get the two points. Oh, oh <laughs> so you're talking about it falls through the hoop, through the hoop, bounces off the ground, it goes back, back up, up through the through hoop, the hoop and you still comes get out. two points. As a matter of fact, they should give you six points, <laughs> but you still get to okay, keep. Can you imagine how is, high you would have to be for, to get the rebound to go back up through the that hoop? Is, that is, you would get the two points on that, Chuck. You get or three the two points. points. Right. Yeah, so that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like that's they, No, no, I know, I know. The new rule. If it if it goes backwards through the hoop, it subtracts the points. <laughs> <laughs> That's just wrong. <laughs> uh, okay, so so wrong. so our our uh, crack team of uh, behind the scenes researchers has confirmed that a ball that bounces out that counts as a stroke. Okay, that so mm. th so you don't get the you don't get this. It's not over. You still got to play that ball. Correct. Correct. Oh, that's terrible. This is why I hate golf. Chuck, Chuck. <laughs> this, okay, we should rename this Reasons Why Chuck Hates Golf. <laughs> Not enough explosions, number one. There <laughs> number you go. Two. Starting with that. That's the Michael Bay reason. Not enough explosions. <laughs> and not enough chase scenes. Yeah. Right, no chase scenes. And if the ball bounces in the hole, which is the whole point of the game, if I get the actually... Ball in the hole. If I actually achieve the objective of the game, which is to put the ball in the hole, if the ball comes back out of the hole, then the objection is uh, I, 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 I have not completed my objective. So, All right, so now here's another thing. If you, wanna, if you want the spin on the ball to help you not get a lip out, if you give a little sort of, I don't know if you can do this with a putter, but the, surely there's a way, you give it a slight sort of backspin, very slight. Okay. okay. Mm. So that when it begins to lean into the cup, the backspin takes it down into the cup. Right on. But if you give it front spin, 
which is would normally happen if it's sort of rolling in a normal way. It has front right, yeah, spin it has as front it goes spin. in. But you can you can disrupt that a little by right. by subtracting some of that front spin. So the ball is skidding for part of the way. You can do that, all right? But if you give it front spin, then that sucker is just going to want to want to you know, I've I've seen some lip outs where it's gone twice around the hole uh before it came out. So yeah. Okay. You got it. You got it. So, so that's that's lipping out on the golf course. Now we've we, haven't we done other shows about the the science of golf clubs and things? I think we have. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. We, we need to do a show called Golf Sucks. That's what we need <laughs> no <to do>. stop stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, that'll, that's all we have time for. And Gary Chuck barely behaved on that one. Mm. Just barely. Chuck's Chuck. Truth to power. Chuck is Chuck. <laughs> it's truth to power, people. That's all it is. All right. All right. Star Talk Sports Edition Explainer. Neil deGrasse Tyson here. Keep looking up. <laughs>